an upcoming match so quickly. It's a stadium that uh, holds uh, a huge 62,850. I don't think there are that many in here tonight, but it is a sizable crowd. Good to see, and good to see a Burnley travelling contingent as well on a Friday night. Weather has been atrocious uh, in the UK, wherever you're watching this FA Cup third round tie. Roads have been flooded, motorways very, very difficult to navigate. So well done all those Burnley fans for getting down to North London. Vincent Company, a fine man, and regarded very highly by his fellow coaches, as is Ange Postacoglu. In fact, Company was saying he was aware of uh, Postacoglu even before he went to Japan. He was out in Japan uh, with Yokohama Marinos in uh, 2018, and Vincent Company already had him on his radar as a potential rival coach for the future. We're nearly ready to go. And it will be Burnley in the cloud and blue who will kick us off. It was called the chessboard final, by the way, that game uh, back in 62, because it was patient and cautious as a football match. FA Cup finals up until then had been all about passion and excitement. So it was, was dubbed the chessboard final. Spurs went into it as the double winners from the previous year. Although Burnley that season actually finished above Spurs in the old first division, the old top flight of English football. We're really... Nearly ready to go, you can see that mighty south stand. The old uh, part lane end of the ground. There's the referee today, Sam Barrett. When he made his Premier League debut as a referee back in October. Blows his whistle, and off we go. And a first touch for Alan Janet Muric. The kick long. Spurs, we know, keep a high line. They love to play attacking football. Skip went into the challenge, was beaten there though. And he wanted a little bit more there. Tottenham without Sonic goes without saying really that they'll miss him. But uh, they do have Richarlison, a man who is prepared to step up, wants to be in the spotlight, wants to be the main man. He's certainly got his opportunity now with the departure of Harry Kane. It didn't work out for him well at the beginning of the season, but uh, certainly in recent weeks good signs as to what he can bring to this Tottenham outfit on a regular basis. Once again, it's Emerson Royale and Ben Davis, the makeshift Spurs back four, back two, I should say, centre-backs. They uh, look like distant strangers for much of the game down at Brighton when they lost 4-2, it was an extraordinary end to the match there. Yeah. They didn't defend well, you were there that night, weren't you? I was there that night, I was there for the Everton victory at home, you know, they were uh, perhaps a little bit fortunate that they uh, weren't on the, uh, or, you know, that they didn't concede a leg goal, but you know Everton didn't take the, the chances that they were able to create, and Tottenham always looked very good on the counter attack anyway. Myself, so is Emerson Royale, played in the fifth round defeat against Middlesbrough a couple of years ago. Has it back again, and on it goes then to Ben Davis. Very experienced in FA Cup football, semi-finalist back in 2018 when Manchester United beat Spurs 2-1. And the Welsh International has it again. Well, Chelsea, Benton Kerr tucks it back. Burnley, line of four, line of four, and the two chasing up front. Fairly rigid, it has to be said, is Kuliszewski. The way up the heart of the defence. Mauro Shea partnering Hannes Delqua back in there. And Udogi who's having a brilliant breakthrough season into the penalty area. No question of that being a foul. Breaks away again. Opportunity for Johnson to get it into the box, into the mix. Typical frantic Frank start in the FA Cup tie. And you think you find out Burnley if they do get start to get overrun in the middle of the park. That's Anduria will just drop deeper and deeper, trying to help out the four in the middle. Taylor with the cross, came to Foster, big swing of the boot. Now to Rory. Rank outsiders for this Burnley, but they had the first real shot on goal. Well, there's an early cross from Charlie Taylor. Love, loves to get forward, nice and early as well. With his delivery on the far side. He probably needs no invitation, does he, to get forward? What's wrong with that? Let's see. Did he get any of the ball? Not much. Just enough, I think. Yeah. Doesn't play like a left back, does he? Destiny a dog. He plays like a left winger most of the time. Loves to get forward. But in that game at Brighton, because he went forward so much, 
they, and Porro got forward so much they, they, there were big gaps in behind. Well, the patience on the polished sides will find a way to expose any full backs that are so uh, keen to get forward so early as well. I mean, you have to be clever about it and realise that one of you may be uh, on form and allowed to maraud, but the other one has really got to uh, sit back and play as a three on many an occasion. Was there only slip in their last five games? They've won the other four. Here's Davis. Don't want him drawn wide because there will be that gap in there. And here's Foster. Plays out wide to Zerori, the Moroccan international. Went for the dead ball line. Looking for support to arrive from Bettino, the uh, Brazilian under 20 international. The dog is very good at just strong arming people off the ball. Gets inside the box. Confident in his uh, upper body strength. Again, he doesn't play like a 21 year old, and just 21 as well in November. He, Looks as if he's got so much experience, Udogi, under his belt. Came from Udinese, he was loaned back there last season. Oh, Davis is lucky there. Foster really didn't read this well enough. Now, just as that ball is running away from Davis, who's not even looking at the football, is when uh, Foster should have just checked his run and come back inside a Welshman. It's made enough contact for the referee to give a foul, but he knows they're not given. In most of his career. At left back, of course, Ben Davis, although has filled in at times before at centre back or a left side centre back of three. Here's Vicario, who's been impressive since joining the club. Looks long, second in his stride by Brennan Johnson. Cutting for the byline and a corner kick given. Have you been impressed with him this season? He's, he's almost been patchy, I think, in the last few games, he's actually. Up to his level of play, uh, I thought he was outstanding against Bournemouth a few days ago in the, in the Premier League. In a couple of fantastic crosses, one that led directly, well, it was the direct assist for Richarlison's goal. I actually prefer to see him playing on the right side. Porro will take the corner kick for Spurs, first of the game, hoisted towards that far post over Johnson. Disappointing for Tottenham Hotspur, goal kick burn. Nice ball from Vicario. A decent touch as well from Johnson. Immediately looking to see if anybody's in a goal scoring position. It's a little bit more selfishness required from him over the next few months, really establish himself in the Tottenham side. That 62 final had some great names on the score sheet that day Jimmy Greaves and Bobby Smith for Tottenham. Danny Blanchfield, not known for his goal scoring, wonderful player. And Jimmy Robson for Burnley was a fine player as well. Well, they were one of the top sides in the country at that time, weren't they? Burnley they had been champions in 1959, just a few years earlier, so that was no surprise to see them in the final. Well, Pip for the league that season by uh, Ralph Ramsey's at Twitch Town. He had his Tottenham connections. And Burnley on the attack. It's pushed away by Vicario, it was a stinging effort. What about cutting in off that left hand side? Four goals for him this season. Yeah, that's a comfortable save for Vicario. The cleanest of hits. Animated the goalkeeper. Coutinho with the long throw into the box, springs into it. Across the penalty area as well. It's not a bad header across the box by Daro Shea. Only look neatly progressive at this moment in time. Here's Taylor. Anyone who dealt with him at the Leeds Academy always speaks very highly of Charlie Taylor. When he moved on, of course. Yeah, he certainly won't see uh, Burnley uh, rushing their football in any area of the field. And continue to try and play out from the back, nice and patient. And in a decent position then from the throw in, but they're not going all the way back to their goalkeeper. That's Johnson. Newfield looking for Richarlison. One back, but it's unfairly by Lacelso. It's a free kick here for Burnley. He's been good in recent games. Almost inspired to come back against Brighton himself and uh, Brian Hill when, when they came on. Lovely assist for I mean, Son's goal a couple of days ago against Bournemouth. And Bellis scored. 
his first goal for Tottenham against Brighton. He's unavailable, he's injured and will be out for a little while, according to Ange Postacogli. season in their promotion campaign last time around. Lots of opportunities limited this season. Mario is hopeful of a place in the Italy squad in the summer. Ben Tenkirk, Petra and a carrier. Winner of the cup. Uh, in Argentina before those two successes with Juventus in the Italian Cup. You saw on your screen a while back his skip. Looking for a Charleston flag stays down, steers it wide. That he was offside, but yeah, about to good. go on. Great one touch play. You know he's just about onside. Yeah, that second touch just takes him away from the goal. Allowed Del Quire just to come across, across and put pressure on him. The truth, it was still a free hit. Screws that badly across the face of the goal. Yeah, so it was a good chance. He's talked highly of Richarlison this season as Hans Postecoglou who defended him when he's been criticised. He's pointed to his overall effect on the team. He's scored seven in all competitions and got three assists in his 18 games. Johnson. Reading danger down the left once again, cuts inside, good effort, pushed away by Milic. Well, that's more like it, Brendan Johnson. He had this kind of opportunity a few minutes ago where he was looking to pass the ball. I was thinking then he could have perhaps shot the right thing this time. Talk about being a little bit more greedy himself. Another one goal for him this season. That quarter finalist with Forrest in. 2022. Lost to Liverpool 1 0. Isu Doggy, Davis, Emerson Royale. They love to get their full backs high, Tottenham. Burnley defending with their numbers. Nine back on the edge of their own penalty area, very deep. Richarlison gets the cross in. All the way forward a bit. Yeah, that was a doggy trying to head the ball, wasn't it? Just outside the six-yard box. Tottenham with a lion's share of possession in the opening 11 minutes, as we'd expected. Kuliszewski. Doro's there with him to take on Taylor. That's Benton Kerr in support. Royale. Look at the numbers of Clarence and Blue back. Trying to plug the gaps. Yeah, it's all 10 outfield plays at the moment, isn't it? It's not, not, not even close to being there. Two strikers or one plus one. Defending with a 10. Celso Davis strokes the pass to Johnson round the corner. Comes to Richarlison. A little bit fortunate, perhaps. Dudok. Not cleared away. The Celso. Wrong option, although I, I suspect he thought Udogi was coming from an offside position. He couldn't play the ball out wide to Carrio's FA Cup debut, by the way, and that Spurs goal today. Having arrived in the summer. There's Porro. Richarlison. Good temper for the home side. I mean, it's smart contrast to the previous couple of seasons under some uh, highly uh, rated managers, Mourinho, Conte. It's a, it's a real unease when you were arriving at the stadium. And, uh, I think they were sure how the team was going to play, they just weren't happy with, with the fur that was being delivered. Cautious and passive, especially at home. And Tanker finds Johnson, Kuliszewski making the run across. Seen off by Del Pro, who came across to cover. He, he's added things to the football club, Ange Postecoglou. Just one or two little things. He gets the players to go to the away, when they're away, he gets the players to go to the away fans before a game starts, engage with the fans. Yeah. He's got them believing again. 
All those things help. Um, those can certainly help. But ultimately, you need the team to be winning, and they've won a, a lot of games this season, Tottenham. In style as well, so that will get everybody engaged much more than anything. But certainly, yeah, you know, you, you want to feel as if there's a connection between you, know, you the players, and, and those travelling fans, and the home fans, of course. Johnson again, really showing that well early on. Combining with your doggy, there's a little cut back, blocked but not cleared away. Johnson plays back, Benton Kerr and Poro to Kuliszewski. Burnley hard pressed at the moment. Kuliszewski deflected, double deflection. Johnson's header. Not difficult that for the cost of an international born in here of Zurich in Switzerland. Gave that away, Burnley. And it's O'Shea. Look at Arden internationally. He has given it away. Richarlison. Half a chance for Spurs. Didn't hit it cleanly. Yeah, again, that final touch before he strikes the football. Jonathan is just not clean enough to really get it out of his feet in the end. It's it stuck underneath him. He's got to almost take it from behind him, dragging the ball, not able to get any pace onto it. A good scoring return in the FA Cup competition. Five goals in the 12 ties. He's played twice a quarter finalist with Everton. Ben Davis. And Emerson Roy up. in 20 games this season. Poor return, poor fair. Here's Johnson. Gets the cross in. Fine goalkeeping. Not sure of that, Norwich. Stuck in his hands. Good tempo to the game. Zururi. Udebert. Them there, Burnley. Kuliszewski has been tanked up. Oh, the doggy got in the way. Just need a moment or two for a good ball retention going again, just to take a little bit of a sting out of the Tottenham attack. Sixteen minutes in. And a round of applause for Harry Pittman, the youngster who was tragically stabbed to death on Primrose Hill over the Yuletide period. Spurs fan, 16, taken far too early. Horribly so. Perhaps that will bring some of comfort to the family when they see the response of fellow Spurs fans. Doggy little flicker. If I could have shot, if I could have shot, it comes through to him. Johnson hooked over by the Salsa. Smothering that penalty area with white shirts and they're creating chances. You're quite tight, but only got lots of players back there. It's not easy. So they're having to drag someone, having to drag the ball from behind it. Couple of minutes. Burnley will get their their moments. Spurs won't be able to keep this uh, tempo up for 45 plus minutes. Eight of their 11 league points this season have come away. They're miserable at Turf Moor, Burnley. In 23 games this season, they've only collected four clean sheets. They keep making the same sort of mistake. Even then, they had so many claret and blue shirts back in there, Evan, and they still got the shot away, Spurs. Yeah, when you've been uh, defending for pretty much all the game so far, you end up just going into containment mode. There's nothing uh, decisive about the defending, everything is just done just to try and relieve 
the pressure sometimes just from within your zone. So collectively for the back four and the guys just in front of them defending, it becomes extremely tiring. Always think that at this, uh, this uh, stages of the match is almost uh, you look at one or two a wide play and perhaps the centre forward is the, the most important people, the ones who can take that pressure off you by doing something outstanding to keep the ball for longer periods. He's back by Dara O'Shea. Every three games of the season, Charlie Taylor, but he's only missed a couple of the subsequent 18. The yeah, cross on ball, I think, in, in the second minute since then, it's been all defending for the Burnley fullback. No goals. Burnley's last six FA Cup ties against Premier League opposition have produced 28. It's nearly five a game. but fouled by Josh Cullen. He had six minutes of football since October, Cullen. This appearance was tail end of November. Twenty minutes gone, no goals. Johnson. Peter, it seems to be down this left of Spurs, it's a foul over the court, referee says no, go on. Crumpling sort of a challenge, then he brings it back for the original foul and produces a yellow. Colin will get the caution. Well, if he thought it was a uh, foul to begin with, referee Sam Barrett, why is he not whistled immediately? He's waited two or three seconds to see if there's going to be any kind of advantage. I thought he got some of the ball and he did. It's quite harsh, doesn't it? Yeah, the trainer there comes through and takes the Celso, but I think by then the ball has already gone. I don't think that's good refereeing at all. Very difficult to slide tackle without your trailing leg coming through. Almost impossible, See, I would have thought. It is impossible. <laughs> it is impossible. So unless they want to eradicate the slide tackle from the game completely, to accept that that's going to happen sometimes. Contact sport. And the opposing player as well, as not always, but sometimes plays a part in that because very often, as Celso was trying to do, he wasn't actually trying to play the ball. He's trying to plant his body, turn it, turn it into Josh Collin, and win the foul. It's, it's a risky uh, strategy because you can get seriously hurt like that. The standing leg is at the mercy of the player moving forward. I mean, can't think that they're looking at anything else. But who knows with the AR these days? Here we are today, Darren Bond, with a VAR support in Chris Cavanagh and an assistant VAR in Stuart Bond. This is new to me, this support VAR role. It was at Crystal Palace last night, two men were named in the VAR seat again. So there's an extra body in there in the decision-making, along with the referee, the two assistants and the fourth official. My maths was never very good. Is that seven? A seven yeah. to do the job that used to be done by one. What is clear is whatever system is being used, it's not working at the moment, and the fans want change. We'll wait and see. Mouche. Murich plays out, but they're always like to pounce in there. Skip was ready to close for Tottenham. One past too many. Murich has got to recognise that. His teammate is under severe pressure there. And then, even if he gets to the ball first, he's then got to be precise enough to find a pass. Facing his own goal, playing it backwards, struck sideways. 
common sense got to tell you that ball has got to be just struck another 30 or 40 yards. Sometimes it has to go long. Corner ball for Tottenham Hotspur. Porro with their second flag kick of the game. Which possibly will quietly fume over that, no challenge on the goalkeeper. Here's Taylor. Del Quat to his left hand side, the man who joined in August from Anderlecht. So they're certainly busting the midfield area, hard work for Aaron Ramsey and Josh Cullen in there. Yeah, just a pass, so, so uh, too many in the middle of the park. Guys further forward in the field will make a run and then they won't get the ball, they check it out, making another one. And, becomes exhausting itself when you're not receiving a ball mentally then you switch off and the defense then decides to play you sometimes could be uh, way out of position or just so annoyed that you decide to stand your ground mentioned Josh Cullen has played little football since October Aaron Ramsey's only had a couple of league starts this season and indeed has only just passed 300 minutes of football uh, this season Porro Richardson Laid it wide to Kuliszewski, had options to his left, and there's a foul by Dejan Kuliszewski. Yeah, the Swede had to check his runner, he thought he was coming back from an offside position. Not quite on the same wavelength as the Brazilian. Yeah, poor throw. Twenty-five minutes gone, no goals, Tottenham progressed. 16 of their last 17 FA Cup third round ties, exception. 2013 14 Arsenal beat them 2 0. Doggy. Loose is out there. So already tried to hold it up for Burnley. His last appearance was back in November. He's only played the seven games this season. Sent off on the first day, you remember, but his team, the game against Manchester City. They lost 3 0 and it, it's been tough ever since. He has built a team for the next two or three years, and Burnley building neatly here. And Oliver has a half a chance. He runs Perra on the outside. Immediately surrounded by four men in Lily White. Taylor gets the cross back into the middle. Davis got an edge on it. This is Zaruri. And Charlottson felt he was fouled doing his defensive duty. It's a throw to Burnley. Shack. Decent spell for him despite their defensive woes. It's his 14th start in a row. Now Ramsey, brother of Jacob and Cole. He moved from the villa. Jacob, young star at the villa. Trinity for the ball to be poked in. Now the flag has stayed down momentarily. Oh, That's a wow. great chance and over it goes from Anduni. Great play, wasn't it? Super pass. Yeah, just not a little bit enough pace on the ball, but in truth, he can't ask for too much more from Anas Zauri. Now, I thought that was a chance. It would have been difficult to turn and hit that on the half volley. Once the ball was behind him, it was always going to be more difficult. Spurs getting plays back, but that's a glorious opportunity. The best of the game so far. Wonderful chance. Well, he should have been ahead. Good doggy. Davis slips it through poorly. O'Shea. Doesn't look too comfortable no, with, all, with the ball at his not. feet up there. No goals, but Spurs have won five of their seven FA Cup ties against Burnley. That's Kuliszewski. Oh, trying a little dummy, and in the end it deflects off him. Well, that chance has come at the end of what's been, what was, a two or three minutes of top play from Burnley. Nice and patient, as I mentioned, at that kick-off, how, how they would be, not rushing anything in the final third. A 
chances that Vincent Company will hoping his players don't rue come the end of 90 plus minutes tonight. The uh, Premier League is about to hit the winter break. The next two weekends of Premier League will stagger. Ten teams play the uh, weekend after this one, and then the remaining ten play the following weekend. Both of these teams are due to play next weekend. Top of Manchester United and Burnley home to Luton, but the benefits of replay, it will effectively mean they do not have a winter break. Or not as long as they would have mm, anticipated. Yeah. Oh, now. It's a naughty little one, I think. Just spun in the challenge here and caught his man, Ramsey. Sosa has stayed down. Let's watch this again. I, I think he... That's accidental. Yeah. Lo Celso has gone to ground very early and he's sliding in. And Ramsey's done that little fancy pirouette. And then you... You're not expecting a player to be underneath you. He's certainly not a malicious player as young Aaron Ramsey. England's under-19 European title winning side of 2022 and a player who knows injury himself he had that cruciate knee ligament injury that kept him out last year chance here for Cullen to build when you've given it away again fairly high and here's the Celso for Tottenham a look away to the right hand side eventually plays it up there then to Kuliszewski half an hour played no goals Ben Tanker really wastes the ball. Dangerous crossing, too hard for Charleston came quickly to Johnson on the half volley white. Well, that's a good chance. Uh, people will say that he wasn't expecting it, but he should have been. You can see that from very early, that's too high for his strike partner, Richarlison. He's got to be alive at that ball, just may end up at his feet. Strikers anticipate defensive mistakes or possible half chance, don't they? And Gary Lineker telling me that years and years and years ago, always anticipated a defender to make a mistake. You know, you've got the license, you know, to gamble. Um, and in that area of the field, you know, it's a long way, it's a long way back up the other end if the team can be able to get the ball. And that's your job to, as you, know, as, as you said, you know, to anticipate mistakes or a piece of brilliance from one of your teammates. And over the years, you get better and better at it. Young players don't always have that knack of knowing where to be. 18, 19, but believe me, by 29, 30, they're normally going to be as good as they ever will be in understanding that role. Real's had a report. Davis edges it away, and Celso gives you a bit of a trek across here. Chased by Tulare. Sometimes the slower you get as you're older, the more you anticipate knowing that you need to read their situations more because the legs won't take you the extra yard or two that they would have done ten years earlier. And they've had more of the ball in the last ten minutes or so. Tottenham still dominating overall game possession, 67%. Those stats don't really tell you true tell of a game because you don't know where the possession is on the football field. And to see that Burnley in the last ten minutes have begun to see more and more of the ball. Or Celso, Kuliszewski, very tight. Yeah, too there. tight. That's what Burnley want them to go, isn't it? That would suit Burnley down to the ground. Oh, yes. Occasionally, you know, you will get beaten with some brilliance and a Burnley manager, didn't they, on the edge of the top of the box and created that chance. Nothing bad about the Tottenham's defensive shape at the time. Celso had to stretch his doggy. Challenge on the ball. Celso has gone down in a crumpled heap. He's in the walls tonight, isn't he? Giovanni Lo Celso, it's three times he's been taken out, if you like, to the ground, but he was up pretty quickly. I thought Cullen won the ball. Yeah, he, he did. Uh, no complaints at all from the Tottenham man. Not until he got back to his feet, anyway. Body language of players normally tell you whether a challenge has been a, a rotten one or not, unless they're 
cheating or play acting in a sort of crass way. It was at Crystal Palace yesterday when there was a sending off of Carver Lewin and the players knew exactly. Yeah, the, the decision baffled everyone on the pitch, I think. Sometimes they don't make it easy for the lads. Ben Tanker, good player, always been a fine player, the international from Uruguay. Now Johnson, at speed, to force into the box. Made once again by Cullen, who's a busy boy tonight. And the friends and family will be here for Josh Cullen. He comes from the southeast, he comes from Westcliff on Sea out South End Way. West Ham boy as a kid, start a league game for them. Benton Kerr, Udogi, Johnson. No. Back to the full back, asking a little bit too much. Yeah, that's it. An opportunity then once again, but he's got to be a bit more selfish, Brennan Johnson. Very much a team player, but it's a responsibility to to be finishing things like that certainly an attempt on goal or looking to be more incisive with the pass tempo has been good from both sides hasn't it you know, the, it's been good uh, possession as well from from Burnley when they've had their spells in the last five or ten minutes as well it's troubled Spurs as, as a defensive unit Ben Tanker mops up Skip is fouled. Play on says the referee was up with the play. Too sure what Skip was trying to do. Thread the eye of an needle and set Richardson away. He was asking far too much of it. Good strong end to last season with 16 starts in the league in a row. He's only had two the whole of this season. Yeah, stiff competition in the middle of the park for time. I mean, everybody's fit. That's quite a, a strong unit there. So Joey Berger has been out of favour. Of course, Benton Core now returning to fitness. Uh, so some decent players to choose from. Basuma, of course, is suspended. Unavailable. Mickey van der Ven's return to fitness will certainly strengthen their defence on the bench today. Expected to play a role if things are going well. Way through Charlie Taylor putting pressure on Porrett. So Throw to Burnley. Nothing wrong with the challenge. Just wasn't physical enough and still standing up to it. Here's Taylor. That should be a Tottenham ball. The Rams have been doing that in favour. He's played that ball pretty early, but Taylor was now really set to control and cross. He flirted with the cup in recent years, Spurs. Five times they've been out in round five in the last eight years. Last the distance in the competition. His side have only gone beyond round three. They've gone beyond round three, I should say, six times in the last eight years. run last year until they came across a team called Manchester City. <laughs> yeah. Most people have you know, the, you know, they never scored line against them in the last six or seven years. He's Ben Tanker. Toro. Been a large well checked on that far side, the adventurous Tottenham right back. Okay, forward to Lyle Foster. Rocky was under pressure to come and clear, and he did it, Vicaria. And so Shay. Don't cry, I found Taylor. Oh, Tottenham, the touches in the opposition box there. But top five players. Johnson has been lively, but the end product hasn't been there for him. Shesky trying to get it back against Taylor, pulled it back up there, I fancy. That's a show of Kelly Conlon, he's done quite. Oh, 
Haiti dog. I emigrated as a as a boy to Belgium. Oh, that's a good touch. Great awareness from Anasari of where the opposing player was. Born in Belgium, Moroccan international. Not uh, in their Cup of Nations squad. Starts next weekend. Who's your favourites? Evan, I know you've been involved in that competition many, many times. Ooh, tough one to call. I mean, it's, it's difficult to see beyond the... Uh... Senegal and uh, the host, I would imagine, the Ivory Coast, yeah, they should be stronger. The Senegal squad looks calm and uh, confident, as they have done actually for about the last four or five years. So if I was uh, betting someone else's money, because I'm not a gambler myself, that's where my money is going. Of course, my heart will say Nigeria, but a couple who could uh, cause a, a couple of mini shocks and win it. He's a throw to Tottenham. Be a major shock if Burnley put off a win here on league form, but so often that goes out of the window for an FA Cup tie. He's Bentancur looking for Skip. He's got the block challenging. And some way out, won it back again. He certainly needs some luck along the way in this competition. They've not needed any so far this evening. They've defended pretty well. Tottenham have been forced into narrower and narrower channels in the last. 10 or so minutes, and Burnley have coped with that pretty well. You would expect a uh, to comedy side to be organised defensively, being a former defender. And a free kick given there. Johnson took a tumble to Rowry. That's poor. Here's Brennan Johnson to run O'Shea. He got the foot in. Corner kick again. I don't think it helps that Johnson, being a right footer, likes to come inside. Kulusevski, being a left footer from the right, always looking to come inside as well. It's not, it's not easy for them to hold, uh, you know, to hold that width naturally. And Johnson has been playing on the right in recent league match as well. I think his, his uh, delivery cross has been outstanding. You know, right side. I like to see them switch it up a little bit. That will just stretch out this Burnley back line just that little bit more. Porro with the corner kick for Spurs. Form header away at the near post area by Taylor. Something in his eye having cleared the ball. Davis. Look at the space here for Kulishevsky. Taylor will jog across. Only pulling men back into the middle. Davis. Quite the spark at the moment from Tottenham, and an extremely subdued crowd, isn't it? I mean, we've been here quite a few times in the last two or three months. And Tottenham fans have been fully engaged with what's been going on with their team on the pitch. It's something to lift them at the moment. A nudge on the back of Ollie Skip, free kick Spurs. Every once it taken in the right place. Famously won the FA Cup as a non league side in 1901, beat Sheffield United, and the famously found the members of the Football League. They'd initially refused to join the FA because the FA banned professionalism. They formed a breakaway British Football Association in 1884, and then they uh, relented about a year later, I think. Memory stretches back, Evan. We're not quite that, no, far. that far, no. Not quite that far. He's Davis. Two and a half minutes to go in the half. Yeah, it's always been a competition of that. And Tottenham have enjoyed and had a great history. And... The dog has done well. Strong runner, willing runner. Foul. This time challenge. Sorry, yeah. Patinho. Never looked likely to be a proper challenge. And this could be dangerous right at the end of the first half. A 
minutes or so from there. Left footed, would have swung it away, but he's moved away. So it'll come the other direction now. Curl in. Poro's right foot. He hits this with whip. He gets a touch on any touch on by any of those runners. It could be in the back of the net. And it comes, no challenge on the goalkeeper, no great whip. That's really poor. Too high. He was inviting for Miric to come out and claim that. He's had a good half, actually. One uh, misplaced, or well, one dangerous pass he played into the middle of his uh, team's back line. Apart from that, he's been really solid. Only missed five league games last season, hasn't played in one this season. The goalkeeper, he's looked confident enough. That's a foul by Los Celso. Minute left in the half. I'm told there'll be one minute of time added on. A minimum is Cullen. Still in field. Zarauri. Oh, he went for it. Well worked. That's decent pressure from Burnley. Forcing the keeper to go long. And they have possession here with Odebert. The ball around the corner from Foster. It's good movement when they've got the ball on the edge of the top of the box, isn't it, Jonathan? It's players are not static, someone is always making that forward run beyond the Tottenham back line. And a good option for the, the man on the ball. Whatever the result, Vincent Company is looking for a performance from his team that can take them forward with more confidence. That game against Luton is a must win for them. Here's Richardson, Kuliszewski, length is his strike, cleared away by Cullen, good touch off by Foster. He looks for the return ball. No, that's unlucky. Not too short by Anduna. Yeah. They're going to win their home games and their turf and form has been awful. They've got Luton at home, then Manchester City away. Fulham at home, then Liverpool away. Then Arsenal at home. Tough, isn't it? Very tough to see them staying up. But he thinks the squad he's assembled could bring them back up next year a year older, because it is a young squad. I mean, Odebert's 18, Zorari's 22, Foster 23, Abduni 22, Ramsey 20 in there. Yeah, if they are two to go down, you've got to make sure that the players are competitive in lots of games, you know, sort of limping to, to relegation is never a good sign. But so far, I mean, in this FA Cup tie, they've been... A good match for Spurs, defended pretty well and dangerous on the counter. Chances at either end, Johnson with a couple easily dealt with by the goalkeeper, Richarlison, an easy save as well. Odebert had perhaps the best opportunity for Burnley, but it was an easy save, and Amduni uh, had a, an effort that went off target. But uh, at half-time, no goals at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Nil now. Now, here is a change. Jakob Brun Larsen's going to come on for Burnley. And Lyle Foster has not reappeared at the start of the second half. You would consider that to be an injury problem, you'd think. Bryn Larson on then for them. Change made by Vincent Company. Off we go in the second half. Spurs all in white, kicking from left to right. What do you make of that change, Evan? I, did, I didn't see him struggling at all uh, in the latter part of that first half. I did see him, however, chatting to one of the Burnley coaching staff as he was leaving the field. In fact, the, 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 um, the member of the coaching staff came onto the field about 15 yards and was talking to him. I if that was a pre-arranged substitution. Well, Bryn Larson has come on in that sort of front two with Amduni. Four league starts this season, but he's played a major role from the bench. But it's the top of attack we're talking about here and now because Skip has it. Kuliszewski back to Porro. Richarlison's in the middle, so too Johnson. Good block by Charlie Taylor. Been Larson on loan from Hoffenheim. The Danish international on then for Burnley at the start of the second half. The cynic in me, Jonathan, is also thinking that perhaps that was a sign to the South African uh, Football Federation that uh, players still not ready to um, play full 90 minutes and he needs to stay here. <laughs> I would have wanted him to go to the African Cup yeah. of Nations, but Burnley 
thought he wasn't in sufficient state of mind after recent problems to go to a, a tournament with that pressure. And here's Sarauri. He's also not there. Cullen. That's offside. Free kick is taken quickly. And Brennan Johnson has it. And Bettino's way upfield and hasn't got back. And Brennan Johnson looks for Richarlison. Not the best quality of pass into the middle there. Two teams across the bottom of the picture. One yellow card in the game for Cullen. That's Kuliszewski forcing the corner. Taken quickly again. Maintaining the momentum. Here's Kuliszewski to drag it back. Clearance is scuffed. Loselso with the bending effort. Double fist punch away by Muric in the Burnley goal. They're not too troubling, someone has been flagged for offside. Now, a decent start from Spurs in the, in the beginning of the second half. <laughs> pointing the way for Munich with this free kick then. For Brun Larson up front. Underneath that was Delqua, Belgian international. Out by O'Shea, the Irish international. And here's Davis. Bentancur. Just took a little neck. It's a throw to Tottenham. The referee says he's only five yards away, but he didn't raise his flag, did he? I mean, it, it, if he doesn't know. Who will? The referee's not in a position to see that. It's Kuliszewski bending it up towards Richarlis, and if he got a touch on Johnson, would have been in. Had he played it to Johnson, he would have been in, but it's offside anyway. And again, we go on quickly. Switch to Wilson Odebert. Oh, it's a lovely run from him. And Emerson Royale got across to cover vilified by Tottenham fans in his first two seasons at the club but he's done all right as a centre-back and from such performances folk heroes can be born here's Kuliszewski's skip was pulled back as he made the run here's Richarlison not to feed Lasalso hasn't used the ball particularly well all game long Kuliszewski opened his body went to bend it not too far off target Yeah, it's a good attempt from Kuliszewski. A nice little uh, step, hasn't he, off that right foot. Rare to see him uh, below par after him. Even against Brighton in the Premier League a couple of days ago, and they, they were on the end of a 4-2, wrong end of a 4-2 scoreline. All, all the four players I thought were below par, but he was the brightest, I thought, of the lot. Kuliszewski again. To run Taylor. Goes inside. Double deflection off Taylor and off Colin. The goalkeeper came and collect. And 40 minutes away from a replay at Turf Moor. Cherish the replays. They may not be with us for very long. Clamour for replays to be abolished. I, for one, it's just my opinion. You might disagree. Would hate that day. Shot from Cullen that goes wide. The lower league team gets a home draw against the Premier League team. They deserve a visit to the Premier League ground for a replay. Some would say, I would say that anyway. Well, you know, some uh, lower league teams would like to play the game at home, you know, to really have something for their fans to talk about for years to come. Who knows, dreaming of a victory against one of the big boys. Others would like to play away for the revenue that it brings and they've got a percentage of, of the gate fees. Uh, so for them to come to a stadium like... Uh, the one they have here at Spurs is a fantastic occasion. But most coaches, I think, would just like the one game, wouldn't they? Have their players back and rested with a few extra days off. 
Good kick for Burnley here. And Shea is up from the back, on about there as well. Delpa. There's an addition on there to the penalty. Only got a couple of goals at Anderlecht. Uh, easy catch for Vicario. Six foot four inch goalkeeper from Udine in Italy. Play for Udinese, of course, is Kuliszewski. Strong start in the second half for him. Left foot, inverted winger. Doesn't going to go wide, doesn't want to take on the full back on the outside. Udogi will take on anyone, just about anywhere. Shows no fear. And Spurs have scored a couple of great goals in recent games as well, where the, you know, the play from uh, the back or the middle has been swift, and then they've had that decisive ball because somebody's been in a natural position to cross the ball, Johnson in particular, to... Toro got that cross it. That wasn't bad, was it? Ben Tanker, good first touch. Shot was high. Yeah, Johnson to Richarlison. Two almost identical goals. One against Everton, one against Bournemouth. A swift ball into the box. Richarlison making that run towards that near post, knowing that there's a chance of a better cross, so he can be fully committed to making those runs. Emerson Roy out and Porra. You see that players play too much football these days. Just think about Pedro Porro, you know, it's his 20th game of the season. He passed the halfway mark. He plays 20 more, it's 40 games a game a week. Not excessive. Some of them play a lot more than that, of course. It's Odebe, his 15th game of the season. Company want to throw their way. Despairs. Well, they will argue you know, that the game is faster, more physical than it was in 25, 30 years ago. That's always uh, debatable. Certainly, they have uh, better facilities all around. The pitches are much better. You don't see many substandard pitches these days, do you? At this level, in fact, none. And you don't see centre halves coming through the back of centre forwards. And hacking their legs, here's Richarlison going through. And cleared away. Some of the treatment meted out to yeah, centre forwards like yourself was brutal, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's certainly a thing of the past. I don't have to worry about that right now. The game is very much sanitised in that regard. Porra finds La Celso. As he lost his way, there's he going, finds you dogging, knew what he was doing. Now Johnson steps inside onto his right foot. That's not bad. Moved that pretty quickly, Brennan Johnson. Took a bit of a deflection as well off. And that's uh, Uri. Took a little bit of sting out of the ball. Both goalkeepers have looked very capable, Solid, very confident. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't think that uh, Ariana Miric has seen very little game time this season. So three. League Cup ties, clean sheet at Salford City. And out in the end at Everton, didn't they? 3 0. He kept a clean sheet at Forest in the first game in that competition. Ben Tanker quickly moved it on. That's good football. Here's Porro. Taylor got back well. Might have heard himself blocking the challenge. Fell on his shoulder awkwardly. Made the stern stuff. Faces up to Kudashevsky. Goes inside, trying to set up Los Salso and it's cleared away. Well, looks set for the Swede to shoot, he declined. That's five goals this season. A little layoff there to Johnson. And stepping out to block was Delcro. He's played well, the two centre-backs, Delcro and O'Shea. Burnley hard press now again, ten minutes into the second half. Spurs beginning to stoke it up a little bit. Porro. Cross looks for Johnson on the volley, hit down into the ground. No, it's a nice deep cross, Johnson once again can see that all the way. Just never got his body in the right position to hit that sweetly. Just another storm that they've got to weather from Ange Postecoglou's men. 
Double figures last season for Forrest, Brennan Johnson. His career average is about one every uh, one every four games. He's only got the one in four, 15 now for Spurs. His form tailed off towards the end of last season, didn't it? He certainly started brightly. Morgan Gibbs White and uh, Forrest outfit were impressive. Bryn Larson. It's offside as he was coming back, Josh Cullen. Well, there's less and more pressure, isn't it, when you're playing for a bigger club? There's less pressure for you to do things on an individual basis. You've got better players around you, you can simplify your game in many ways, but there's more pressure to perform and to be, uh, to be more consistent, isn't there? Because the expectations are greater. Teams are about to make a substitution. Josh Brownhill is coming on for Burnley. And it looks to me as if Brian Hill is going to come on for Spurs. Wide player. And Lo Celso will go off. And the man departing for Burnley is Odebert. And Brownhill, a more orthodox central defensive midfield player, and gets the arm back. Hill presumably will go left. Johnson may switch back to the right hand side, and Kuliszewski will go into the 10, where I think he's done okay in recent weeks. Well, he's been asked to play in there. He's gone for Burnley and away by Emerson Real. Taylor. He's on the outside of Skip. Block in. And so patient this season. Following a skip in that Spurs midfield area. As Evan was saying earlier, very competitive now with Benton Kerbach. The game's on his Taylor. Yeah, it's what the head coach wants, doesn't he? Yeah, competition for places. Dooney. Nice move, I'm doing, isn't he? Well balanced. Good appreciation of, of the ball or the, the plays around him when the ball is coming towards him. It's a decent ball played up. Lovely pass, wasn't it? Dooney's gone down. Ooh, another goalkeeper to bring last. Scored the other day against Aston Villa for Burnley. And he felt hard done by it. By the decision makers in that game, losing 3 2. Cross off balance by Zereri. Into this near side now. Come on in a more central position. Toro clears. Good press by Burnley. Passing at Chrissy Hasselman, but 72 percent is nowhere near good enough. It slips away. It's a Spurs throw. Yes. Yeah, that substitution of Wilson Otterberg by Vince and Company a couple of minutes ago. Just the first sign that. He'll be happy to take a point. Just uh, tighten up the midfield. Trying to uh, frustrate the Spurs outfit over the next 10 or 15 minutes. Charlie Taylor hurt his shoulder about 10 minutes ago. You remember that? He's yeah, been yeah. complaining to the bench since then. Might have to make another change. <laughs> Del Quart.
Davis across to bring it under control quite calmly. He's the game well, should do. He's 30 years of age now, Ben Davis, and has played over 400 club career games. Good atmosphere inside the ground now. What's a little bit quiet in the first half? Come alive here now. Davis and Hill is out there waiting. He's only had a couple of starts this season. On loan last at Sevilla, you will recall. Decent season at Sevilla. Davis. Nice and way out. Finds Porro. He wanted him to move further forward than that. And again, look at the Claret Blue numbers back in there. Johnson's done well. Clear away by Brownhill. Ben well, Tanker. I said how he was going to be better from the right side crossing the ball, but the first opportunity wasn't a clean connection, was it? And a better delivery than that. That'll slip away from him. Heavy touch. There is Taylor with this problem. Too sure to play much more of a role in the game. Really without several players through injury. Burgers suspended, of course, having been sent off at the weekend. We have Connor Roberts on the bench, can play right side, fullback and left side fullback. Two substitutions. It's going to be Mike Trezor who comes on left side forward, but I mean Al Dakil is getting ready to come on. Yeah, shouldn't be taking any chances with Charlie Telly's first choice left back. And they've got this little break now before they play their next match at home to Luton on the 15th. But difficult to say what the real problem is. Huh? If it's a, a rib injury, however, seems to be treating the shoulder. It was there where he fell. Oh, that's where he's fallen. Yeah, he's holding the, the back, isn't he? In the trap area, and if he's just strained the muscle, got bruised. I don't think it'll be the landing that was the. Well, it did cause the issue, but yeah. We'll find out, show sure, in a couple of days. And Dakil will come on, defend up for him. Wing 28, they have to wait. They're going to make three substitutions, actually. His kill. A couple of starts for him this season in his nine appearances. Dogging with a crossing, big chance, Johnson buried away. Fourth time he's forced the goalkeeper to make a save in the game. Burnley play out. Couldn't bring it under control with Bryn Larson. Yeah, that was a good strike from Ben and Johnson. Not easy to control those balls when a couple of feet off the ground in the air. Nice run and cross from Udogi. And the bounce just wasn't close enough for the, for the goalkeeper to make it a much more difficult save. Which, once again, looking pretty comfortable. And the ball there from that distance and at that height, despite the pace on it. Just a one change so far. Well, I don't think they have actually. They bring, did they bring out Aki I don't think they did today, yeah. Here comes a triple sub now. The Taylor was off and uh, they didn't bring anyone on. They will do now. This is the opportunity for Johnson. Yeah, measured. Controls it. 
pretty well, so that's not an easy skill. Nathan Rubin is going to come on for Ramsey. Here's our Dakil for Taylor. And Trezor is going to come on for Zarari. So there are your three substitutions. Aldakil, Trezor and Redmond on. And Zarari, Taylor and Ramsey off. Dakil has come out to the left-back role. Quantum International, though born in Iraq. He left when he was five during the Iraqi war. Sort of bypassed Ramsey a little bit, didn't it, today? Yeah, it wasn't much of a threat going forward. It was, it was largely a defensive display from the Brighton players in the middle of the park. What well, Vincent Comedy has done by giving uh, these substitutes 23, 24 minutes is an opportunity to get themselves into the game without being desperate and having to really scramble around defensively when Spurs are perhaps turning the screw in the last five or six minutes. Skip has got in behind. And there's a little bit of a collision there, and Johnson's gone down. And some attacking threat, of course, with uh, Trezor and Nathan Redmond in particular. So with uh, one eye, of course. Um, it's a tricky one, isn't it? That wasn't... He got the ball, did he? Just Brownhill. You know, I think he gets Brennan Johnson first. Wasn't a huge appeal on the pitch. Well, he definitely got Johnson first for me. The referee's being told to check it. Yeah. This could be a penalty. This could be the moment the whole game swings. Sam Barrett, the referee, has been told your decision was OK on the pitch, on we go. Past the midway mark, we're into the last quarter of the game. Udogi. Brian Hill. Well, I'm not a fan of the, of the game being over-refereed from a booth in uh, kind of West London, but I think there was a case for the referee to perhaps go and look at that. It didn't look as if Brian Hill got anything of the ball. Try and get in behind here. Tottenham Hotspur, the goalkeeper's come out. There's a collision there. He's having none of it. This time there is a big appeal. Kuliszewski coming to the other goal. I think Kuliszewski's looking for this contact. Silly, the goalkeeper, mind you. Oh, goodness me. Is the ball out of play? Kuliszewski's also got his hand on him. Yeah. Not much of that, is it? Risky, he didn't need to if he was sure the ball was pretty much out of play, if not already. A bit daft. Mason Royale. Sound game at the back for Spurs again. But they're under pressure here now. Chesor. His first contribution as a substitute forces the corner of Poro. He loves to celebrate when he makes a big tackle or has a big block like that. This is their first corner. 70 minutes gone. Trussell will take it. Loan from Genk. He was Belgian Footballer of the Year last year. Only had three league starts this. Created a lot of goals last season. 24. The league record. Twenty minutes to go. Again, how many corners have we seen where there's been no pressure on a goalkeeper? Now Richarlison hurdles the challenge, goes on. Udoki arriving, Paul might have been impeded in the middle. That's a great recovery challenge, that. Super recovery, O'Shea. Oh, he's pumping the legs there to get back. Yeah, Udoki was at full stretch, even he was looking a little bit tired, not with his usual burst of energy to get onto that ball a little bit earlier. That's the new dog. He has two to pick on that left hand side. Sumporo too near the goalkeeper. Again, no challenge on a goalkeeper in there in the air. Well those deliveries are not great though, are they? Jonathan, are they uh, about seven feet in the air? 
You need Andre the Giant to come and challenge a goalkeeper and win that. You can't touch them. Not much, anyway. Davis, bit of a misjudgment. Bryn Larson is there with him. And the Corio had to be speedy and was. Things beginning to stretch. Neither team wants a replay. Yeah, just the, those two penalty shots have energised the crowd, haven't they? A little more tension and anxiety from the supporters. And more urgency, which that is usually how it translates into the players. Got to keep their cool tight on it. Still quite a long way to go, 20 minutes. Almost too long. We've got have a couple of minutes then. We've a stoppage time for sure. For the 73rd minute. Some of them don't really do nil-nils. Haven't had no. one this season. Three draws, a wet Brentford 2 2 opening day. They don't do dull at all, do they? No. Arsenal away 2 2 and Manchester City 3 3 away. That's a thriller. And Burnley don't do nil nils, there's a different reason for that. Defensively, they just haven't been able to. Yeah, the last six matches for Spurs have scored 14 goals, conceded nine, had four wins in that. To arrest that mini slump they had in league form, and Burnley's the other way around, isn't it? Only scored five and conceded nine. Mini really slump started with a bizarre game. At the Tottenham Stadium against Chelsea when they finished with nine. Come on. He's strong considering he's only had the six minutes since October. Spin under pressure in there as well. Have a team yet. Listen to the Spurs fans now. He's red. Well, that's a shame. I've got to say that was great play from Brighton. Over the top here now. Spurs look for Johns. Decent block in there by Delcroix. A strong game at the back. Johnson trying. Little trick, it didn't come off. Time ticks down. You take the replay over a defeat, that's for sure. Mine's Postacoglu. Well, they haven't really played an extraordinary number of games. This is not in Europe. They didn't have a run in the Carabao because he fielded a, a much changed team. They, they went out at Fulham. He was harshly criticised for that. Here's Hill. Udogi. And it's only 38 league games. Correct. Toro. Now Davis. Well, there is a huge increase. There's a lot more international matches played these days compared to 20, 30 years ago. That's a massive difference. That's for sure. And the top players. Are... Well, the top clubs have got a pretty much a full international squad, haven't they? Almost everybody's representing their country. And they brought away with Al Dakil. Here's Bruno Larson. It's a decent challenge there by Benton Kerr. Foot low on the ground. Kluber's going to come on for Spurs, it seems. Skip looks weary down below. It might be he that goes off. He's had a nervous couple of glances towards the bench, which is always a telltale sign. <laughs> He's seen Hoiberg, and he knows that's his position he's come to play. Benson Akira got away with it, it wasn't deliberate. And there's the strength of the man and the purpose. And in the end, the elegance. Oh, and the vision as well. Second and third game back after such a long injury out there. It's, it's, it's always difficult, you know, you, you, you're playing on adrenaline that opening go. Uh, 90 plus minutes, he played a good chunk of the game against Bournemouth. And then a little bit of uh, mental fatigue, mostly a little bit drained for a couple of days after. His next game, as I said, is always difficult for you to turn up and be impressive. A little bit difficult today to play his usual game, to cover the amount of ground, especially moving from the sort of centre circle towards opposing boxes. That will come in the next few weeks. Chazor, little slip pass to Al Dakil. Too much pace on it, goal kick. He was substituted by Hoiberg against Bournemouth just past the hour, but it is Skip who uh, 
is going to depart this time. Just thought he looked a little bit laboured in the last few minutes. And then comes Pierre Emil Hoiberg. And I think uh, that Ange Postecoglou would love to have given Mickey van der Ven minutes in this. minutes to go. Poor ball out to Ben Kerr, Ben Tanker. Well, he still could. I mean, he's, he's thinking about giving him some game time before the next match against Man United. Ben Tanker limping away. Key plays, if you can, you try and squeeze them in, don't you, as, as soon as possible. Getting up to speed, a couple of more days training. Time to replicate that. It's possible on the training ground. Josh Browning with the free kick. So Newsom played back into the box. Look, Brian Hill has to head it away and headed it back into a dangerous area. Maybe it tidies up. And here's Kulishevsky with time and route. Richarlison's in the middle. That's the crossfield ball, looking for Richarlison. Might come to him yet. A great run up from the back by Davis, I think it was, on the far side. That might leave him a little bit spare at the back, but now it's Porro. Well, he's gone for goal, oh, and he scored! Oh, wow, uh, what a hit. Tottenham are ahead, 13 minutes to go. was going to take something exceptional to open this game up and that was a fairly exceptional strike. See the way the ball wobbled in the air. Well, he is a clean hitter of the football, it's Pedro Porra. I mean, oh. He will say that it's not a bad throw I and mean, it was risky, wasn't it, to actually play the ball out like that. And I'm doing it for once unaware of what's around him, unable to shift the ball as quickly as he has done throughout this game, gets dropped by Porro, and from then on, well, the goalkeeper can do nothing about it, he's been solid all evening, that is just too great of a hit. In the corner, moving, dipping, he's got no chance of goalkeeper, you can only stand and watch it. I mean, Watson, that's really going to upset Vincent Company. The early move, I thought he's going to be so annoyed if they get hit on the counter-attack. The goalkeeper neutralises everything. Richard's in miscontrols of football. I don't know what happened there, but Podro makes Burnley pay. Well, he loves the ce celebration, Petro Porro. Celebrated there his first goal since April when he struck against Leeds. Imagine what he'd be like if Spurs actually go on to win something. The crowd love him. They know he takes risks. To see him playing a string of games, this is... I think 32 out of 34, when he had so many hamstring issues as a player in Spain. It is a joy, really. He's an expressive player, he loves the game, you can tell. He's in the Manchester City stable, of course, Girona, Manchester City themselves. This would be ideal for Tottenham now, with Burnley looking to push on in the next five or six minutes. More opportunities on the counter-attack. Played a couple of games from the bench, the uh, Northern Ireland teenager, a striker or a second forward. Scarlett's been around the first team scene for a, a couple of years. Gets his opportunity. 19-year-old, went out on loan at Ipswich. Didn't get a start there, recall, probably as a consequence. A dozen games from the bench for them in the championship. Here's Johnson. Yeah, he's found that team too hard to break in, isn't it? They're riding high in the championship. And they won't find this one any easier to get game time in. 
you know, sometimes that uh, misconception that you know, players from the bigger few clubs go somewhere else on loan and they automatically should be playing. They've got to prove themselves, haven't they, at a lower level? Yes, Hill made a difference. The fact they brought him on and switched Kudashevsky and switched Johnson to the right hand side. Got better balance about them in the second period since they made those switches. What do you think? The players certainly look more confident. I think, you know, Hill, of course, uh, natural left footer. Who does like to come inside as, as, as well? But the, the plays look a little bit smoother, hasn't it? And Kudashevsky playing that uh, more central role. He's, uh, I think he's happy anywhere to be honest on that front line. Ryan Sessegnon's also ready to come on for Spurs. He's been out since January the 14th last year. And they're going to make three substitutions. There's the throw out. It was unnecessary, really. Merritt should be looking to manage the game late on in proceedings. Not put his side under pressure. I mean, if that's I'm doing in acres of space, I understand the throw, but once he did that, and then. You're just hoping that your team can recover quickly enough. They, they don't get set, nobody gets close to close, borrow down, and it's a fantastic hit. Give him all the credit. Superb shot. Well, Richarlison is trudging off towards this near side. Ben Tanker. Uh, he goes off. Jamie Donnelly on then. Wearing 63, and Ireland under 21 international. Played against Newcastle, come off the bench in the 4-1 win, and away at Manchester City in the 3-3. Scarlett on for Sessegnon, on for Richarlison, and Sessegnon is on as well. And good to see him back in action, he's replaced... Brennan Johnson, he'll go to the left, Kill will come to the right-hand side. His, his, his Tottenham career is in fits and starts, lacked a lot of confidence when he first moved from Fulham. Big step up from for him, suffered, and he started to come good, then he had the injury. I think playing for a more adventurous head coach will will help him. I think he found other coaches fairly unforgiving. Back here. Time tight now for Burn. There's always that question. If Spurs scored, what did they have? They've had what? Four efforts in the entire game, Burnley. One on target. A couple of half efforts, so I guess count. Half a dozen in all. Not good enough. The best chance of the game with uh, I'm doing in the first half, and a lovely work move. You know, for them to hold Spurs to pretty much uh, no clear cut chances was always going to be difficult. I mean, in truth, you know, they've they've defended they've defended their box well, not too deep, not allowed Spurs too much space behind. Competitive in the middle of the park, even though they were seeing less of the football. But once in comedy, we'll see this as a self inflicted wound if it's the only goal of the game. He's cut it. Works hard. I've seen a lot of Nathan Rebbin since he came up. In, in the summer from Beshit Tass, was only there 10 months. What can they do here? Half a chance presented itself to Ryan Sessegnon. It's a poor clearance away. Hill dancing to the edge of the penalty area. And the chance fell to Sessegnon and he bent it wide. Yeah, I took it I think it's going wide anyway, but Mirich took no chances. Kuliszewski. Hill, been lovely since he came on. Easy say. They're strong finishers, Tottenham. You always feel as if there's a chance if they 
game is tight towards the end of the game that they can get something and they're indeed as, as they're leading they will go looking for the second goal not too many thoughts about just holding on and they seal it here Scarlett with the run tried to bend it in looking for his first Tottenham goal scored on loan at Portsmouth didn't find the back of the net in the league at Ipswich on loan this season well, that deflection nearly gave him a goal has given him has <laughs> actually done him a favour that's that's heading well wide of the goal only 19 years of age Jose Mourinho when he was manager used to talk highly of him only two opportunities three minutes to go Ryan Hill Royale Emerson Royale with the big switch of play. Down on Bettina. Jumped at him. Sixteen attempts in all them for Spurs. Just the one on target for Burnley. And there's any doubt that Spurs deserve the win, is there? They've been a more accomplished side with the football. It's all about their creating opportunities and what, uh, what good chances you can get out throughout the course of the game. They've had more of the ball, not created lots of chances, but you don't need lots, do you? You just need one to go in. Trezor, they're trying to create the one. Brownhill wide, not hit with great conviction from Josh Brownhill. I wouldn't say it's been a one-sided game. I'm looking to sign for that. It's going to be difficult with not much pace on the cross. And looks as if Spurs are going to get a 17th third-round win in a run of 18 ties at this stage of the competition. And a bench so often, uh, Jonathan, as well, for the top sides can be the turning point we've seen in the league games this season. Uh, the top teams can bring on a couple of heavyweights to replace uh, tiring players maintain the tempo and different type of quality in the game all of a sudden turns Spurs fans have been crying out for a trophy the last one won in 1991 in this competition and the league cup more recently but it's been a while With no European football, as you mentioned a few minutes ago, for Postecoglou and his players. No reason why they should not be putting a lot of e energies into uh, this game and forthcoming matches, of course, in the competition if they're able to sneak through. Burnley throw. A bit untidy that to enter the last 20 seconds of the 90. Because of all the substitutions, we've now had ten in the game. It'll be seven minutes of, uh, next, of uh, added time. Redmond. Stoppage time, I should call it. And here we go. Into it now. There's the confirmation held up by the fourth official down there, John Brooks. Carl and Porra. It's all like the footing, but goodness me, did it need the rock, roll, the tumble? Not exactly. We did catch him. Yeah. There's a slope there on the edge of the Tottenham pitch. Rolled into the camera position. And a car for Trezor for the foul. Well, if you're a Burnley player and a member of the coaching staff saying to each other, we might as well go down swing and try and force this equaliser. And up scoring one on the counter-attack in the last couple of minutes again, we'll accept that. But travelling fans deserve some real effort in the last few minutes. They've played manfully tonight, but uh, uh, Burnley been been largely outplayed. So the, the greater quality from Tottenham, the starting line, and of course, the substitutions in the last 10 or 15 minutes has helped to turn the tide. 
They meet again on the penultimate weekend of the league season. And, uh, May the 11th, I think it is. At which time Spurs might, might need points to get into the Champions League. Burnley might need points to stay up. It might be forlorn for them by then. If they keep the faith and keep their bright young coach with his ideas, I used to say they won't come back up. Not doomed yet. Here's Trezor. Decent football in spells. Out by colour. A fine game. The team will not so much on the outside. Oh, well, what? Sort of what sums a waste. up his evening. Yeah. Sums up his evening. I think there's an avenue there just to flip the ball between the players and, and the goalkeeper. Ben Davis actually takes over a pretty good position and it had to be a great ball to have beaten the Welshman just venturing back into that six yard box. And once the ball gets high, it's got to be so much more precise. I mean, players running back towards their own goal can score an OG quite easily. It's pace on that delivery. So short. And Trezor. So a little bright cameo off the bench forces a corner kick now. Can they, at this late, late stage, in the 93rd minute, score to get us to a replay? Up comes Muric. Just keep it away from the goalkeeper. Aim for him between the six-yard box and the penalty spot. Do not allow Vicario to come and claim this. He's six foot six, a goalkeeper. Muric up from the back, is aimed towards him. Just glanced away for Tottenham Hotspur. It's Porro, the goal scorer, who got the header away. And Muric gets back as fast as he can. Then they look for Brun Larsen. Fuiper, Hill, trying to get it back to him. Good decision by the referee. Fortunate to run into Manchester City three times in the last six years, Burnley, including that 6 0 hammering last year in the quarter final. They had a shot the previous year, they went out to Huddersfield in round three. I was there when they lost to Lincoln in round five up at Turf Moor in 2017. This was a tough tie for them tonight. Here's Hill, and a little credit to the managers in naming strong sides. That's Hoiberg, that's a poor, poor Redmond. Man of his experience, 1 0 up in, 90, in the 95th minute. Davis saves his blushes. May not be everyone's cup of tea, Ben Davis, but you know what you're going to get with him every game he plays. I think he's super reliable. I mean, I say it almost every time I'm at the stadium. He's been one of their most improved players the last five or six years. Never hides, always puts in a strong performance. Went down just as he got back up there. He was holding his hamstring. And if he just tweaked it as he went to ground to make that sliding tackle. And both teams have made their substitutions. Wilson Roy up. Yeah, he's running just a little bit uneasily. Sussman didn't keep the ball in play. Why is this crossfield ball perhaps when you're? 1-0 up this late on in the game, keep possession, win the game, see it out. Keeper came out well of his penalty area, try and get things going. By Del Coir, Wilson Royale got it away. Is Ben Davis struggling in there? He's having a look towards the bench, he's holding his thigh again. He wants to change. They made their five substitutions. I mean, I mean... Well, Dakir looked like a foul throw to me. Don't seem given these days. Here's Kuliszewski. Yeah. Sessionon's away on the left hand side. He's got the pace to get away. And he's fouled his man. Ben Davis just needs to go to. He just actually <laughs> he just needs to come to the sideline inside the Burnley half so he's not playing at anybody on side if, if his hamstring is gone then. So I'm him trying to run and having a complete rupture. If that's a hamstring strain then perhaps it won't be too severe. Well, they could put Hoiberg back in there. Yeah, anybody to cover for the remaining 45-odd seconds. 
There'll be a little bit more added on. High ball collision needs furrow on the deck. Here's Trezor, last chance, Burnley. Blocked back there by Hoiberg, who did fill in. What a stop. Ricardo may have been able to gather that ball anyway. This will be the last attack of the game, seconds to go. Can Burnley give us late drama? Can Murich give us a late story? And Davis is really struggling. She's done a word with the referee. He's, He's a hindrance to his plays there. He just needs to get himself out of the box because an injured, injured, uh, injured player like that could lunge at something now in the final seconds of the game and bring somebody down. Here comes that corner. Murich leads. Murich oh. sends it. Oh, goodness me, what a chance. Out of here. What an opportunity. I think it was Anduni, actually. Yeah, the ball just a little bit behind him. Oh. And if there was one player in the Burnley ranks right now, I thought would have controlled that ball and turned it. Goldwood would have been Anduni, he didn't. And Tottenham escaped right at the end. Oh, huge sigh of relief for Ange Postecoglou as Anduni fires wide and Tottenham win with a goal by Porro. Well, they look back on that late chance with regret, Burnley. They didn't create enough, to be fair, during the 90 minutes. Tottenham created more. It was close, but in the end, it's Tottenham who go through and maintain this magnificent record at the third round stage of the FA Cup. And their very good record against Burnley as well. He knows he's been a tough game. A few days off now for Spurs. They've won this one by one goal to nil.